Hello, this is Mikoy Valencia from Flowbox. Welcome to User Guide Video Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will explain in detail every window and every panel in Flowbox. Let's begin. This is the welcome screen. On the left upper corner you can see your name, current version of Flowbox you're running, version of your license, and the expiration date for your license. In the near future you will be able to upload your avatar here. On the green tab you can start your project. This is new project option and open project. Above you can see your currently open project in Flowbox. And this is the composition environment. As you see the composition environment is here also present. Below the green tab you can see the recent project list. Here you can find the projects you were working on previously. You can jump into selected projects right away or you can clear it from the list. On the left side you have unsaved projects area. This is very important because in Flowbox you are constantly saving everything in background. If something happened like software crash or loss of the power, you don't need to be worried. Everything you are working on was constantly saved in the background in a temporary file. You can jump into this temporary file right away and continue your work or save this file under new name using this icon or clear it from the list using X. You can also clear all unsaved projects at once using this button. On the bottom we have settings. Here are the key shortcuts you can change in Flowbox. Let's make an example. This is Add Node Blur option in Flowbox. It will add a blur node in your composition. We use B shortcut for that. You can change it. Select it from the list, click Remove to remove current key shortcuts, and below assign a new one. Just press on a keyboard, for example, L. Hit Assign and don't forget to apply your new key shortcuts. From now on, if you want to add blur node to your composition, you have to press L in the node editor. That's it. Let's jump into general options. As you see, we have enable autosave, always on, recommended to keep it on. Debug mode is for us, for developers, and there is a cache memory limit. Depends on the amount of memory you have on your system, you can change it here. And there's also subsampling, number of samples per pixel. This is related to all gizmos and layers of interface we use in Flowbox. Don't worry, this is not related to your image. We're always rendering everything in high quality. Let's go back to welcome panel. So that's it about the welcome screen.